So last time we looked at working out timings for routes. This time I'm going to have a chat through pacing. So what do I mean by pacing? Well, that is working out how many strides or paces you take to do 100 metres on the ground. So we can measure a 100 metre sector on the map, walk that and see how many steps it takes you. So when I'm working this out, for some reason I always use my left leg, don't know why, my right leg will be just as good. And uh, when I'm walking along, I count every time my left leg touches the floor. And really trying to walk normally, because when you're concentrating on walking, it's very easily done to just walk in some kind of daft way. So trying to walk normally, every time either your right leg or your left leg touches the floor, you're going to count. And for me, 100 metres takes me 62 strides. So what happens if we're going uphill or downhill or the terrain's really awkward? Of course, my strides are going to change, but personally, I find it easier maths-wise to always end up with the number being 62 because it's quite easy to manage. So where some people might look at a slope and think, right, well, that angle slope, I'm going to add on 10% or 20% to my number. Personally, I know how much space on the ground each stride takes up. So sometimes I might double or even triple count one of my little steps. So it equals the right amount of space for one stride on the ground. So what I mean by that is going along like one, 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 two, three, and so on as I'm walking along. So hopefully that makes sense. Asking the questions if you're unclear of anything. And when you're next out for a walk, be really handy to give that a go. So find yourself a hundred meter section that's quite clear. So maybe in between two footpaths or uh, a wall and the footpath junction or some, something that's nice and obvious. Measure that out on your map and just walk that. A few times would be useful and then you can take the average to find what your pacing number is for 100 metres. And then we'll use that pacing number in later weeks in different exercises.